and we say hello to Logan Pizzuro. Logan, good morning, and welcome to the Megacast. Good morning. Wow, you sound great. That was a that's a really good connection we have via Zoom for you. Logan is the is it the general manager at WAHS? Uh, what? Yeah, I'm I'm the student station manager at WAHS. All right, you tell them that when I was the student station manager in West Bloomfield when I was your age, they called me the general manager. I would fight for a better title, you know. Just but no, you're doing great. You're the student station manager. At WAHS 89.5, Avondale Community Radio. Logan every day gets us on the air. And, uh, you know, I know you're doing your other things. you got you got, you know, family issues, and you're meeting, I'm sure, t- doing things with your friends and studying. And, and uh, you, you take time for the radio station every day. Thank you very much for all you're doing to help get this show uh, across a whole lot more of Oakland County and Metro Detroit. Yeah, well, I mean, I just wanted to, you know, be able to get the news that, you know, people in our area would need to hear. So thank you for having this available. And the other thing I want to mention to you, Logan, and I was telling Tyler is in the studio, and you can't see us. I apologize, but the audience can. <laughs> and, you know, when I get off the air, I tune into all of our radio stations, 89.3 Lakes FM, WBFH, The Biff, and then WHS. And I don't know, I, I love the music I'm hearing when I'm driving back over to my office in Troy. And you guys got a really good music mix in your radio station. Sounds good. Thank you. So, Logan, what's going on with you? And uh, tell us, what's the big story? You're a junior at Avondale High School. What's the big story that you want to share with us about what's going on in your world and with students at, at Avondale High School? Uh, well, uh, last week at Avondale was our spring break. So uh, they, they announced then, like, kind of what we're going to be doing for our online schooling. Uh, they basically posted like a schedule of like here's when math classes are going to be here's when science classes are going to be you know it's kind of just like they have the same amount of time that they do in class basically uh so each teacher is going to be able to like be in contact uh during then and it's it's definitely going to be a different change. How, how's that working for you? I mean, is it uh, is this working out okay? Because we hear from the superintendents. We just heard from Ken Gutman in Wald Lake. We've heard from your superintendent Schwartz. He's been on the show. We'll get him on again. Uh, but you know, you're the ones that are you and your classmates are the ones that are dealing with it every day. How's it going? Uh, well, we haven't officially started yet. Um, we're gonna like officially start uh, next week on the twentieth. Um, but we did a little bit of online schooling beforehand, um, it, but it wasn't like required because the school was projected to still be open after all of this. But um, I mean, I, I've been in different uh, meetings with Zoom uh, and just being able to talk to my teachers just to make sure I'm on the right track has been really helpful. How's that going in chatting with your teachers? Uh, Logan Pizzura is joining us. He is the student manager at WAHS and a junior at Avondale High School. Are, are you able to interact with the teachers? Are they get, because I, I imagine that's a key to, to really understanding what's going on. Yeah, I mean, a lot of my teachers have put up these like classroom hours, and you can just go in, check in, uh, ask questions about an assignment uh, or I mean, just make sure that you're doing stuff correctly or just, you know, even get more information about what's to come from the teacher uh, and stuff like that. So, So Logan, it can't be easy. You've been on spring break. uh, Now you're going to get back into class and get online. What does spring break look like for a high school junior during this uh, crazy time? I just can't imagine because when I think about what I would have been doing, I'd be, you know, out of my bike at your age. I had a, a little crummy car that I would work on and drive around a little bit, uh, you know, just hanging out with my friends and doing all the things that teenagers do. What's it like? What's going on in your world? And maybe what can you share with us? You know, it's I've been inside for a very long time. Uh so uh, it's it's definitely really different. Um, you know, I've you've been able to connect with some of my friends. Uh, I've been using Discord to uh, talk with the majority of them. Uh, so I mean, we've been, you know, we're me and my group of friends have been trying to think. Well, you know, let's 
still try and do stuff together, you know, so we all can keep somewhat sane during this. <laughs> uh, so uh, we actually started up like a Dungeons and Dragons game, uh, and we have been starting. We don't. We've done like two sessions of that so far, and you know, it's it's definitely an adjustment. But I think. If we, you know, continue to power through, it will it will work out. <laughs> All right. Well, I appreciate your optimism. It's kind of cool, Tyler Keith. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons is a little bit more your generation, Tyler, than my generation. But uh, Logan, it's good to see that that that's something that you're doing. I mean, they're playing Dungeons and Dragons, Tyler. And uh, are you listening to Led Zeppelin albums too, Logan? That would make me feel really good if that, that was the case. <laughs> to the monkeys the, even better yet the <laughs> really you're a monkeys fan huh i am yeah i actually got to see the monkeys in concert <laughs> really excellent yeah. excellent all right well anything else you want to share uh with our listeners across your radio station and the rest of our audience um well nothing too much just uh actually yesterday we did a a test of like a remote broadcast so uh for our radio station so Maybe we'll be able to do some live shows because that's kind of been on a, a pause right now, but we might be able to start up live shows on our station again. So. That'd be great. Well, just let me know if I could be of any help. Let's talk when we get off the show, and right. uh, let me know what I can I can do. Where did you where did you do your remote broadcast from yesterday? Was it just a somewhere that you don't want to mention in the air? It's just a test. <laughs> no, uh, we we uh, did it on Google Hangouts. Our station advisor, Miss McNee. Um, she was actually able to be in the studio to pull us up on there. And, uh, so we were able to kind of get the feed from the Google Hangouts call. That's a good way. That's a good way to do it. We got all kinds of equipment here, but the Google Hangouts or Zoom, you can, you know, run the app up on your phone and do pretty good radio that way. So, um, it's amazing. All right, Logan, what's your aspiration from a career standpoint? Do you want to be a broadcaster? Um, I'm I'm still thinking about that. Uh, I've been thinking more maybe computer programming uh, career path, but uh, possibly broadcasting. Uh, it's, I was going to take a shot at broadcasting and say you'd be better off at computer programming, but I'm not going to do that. This is a great industry, and I know you're gonna, I know you're going to be fine, whatever you do. So thank you, thank you so much for joining us. You're doing a great job, and thank you very much for uh, helping us get on the air every day. Good to talk to you. Yeah, well, thank you for having me. All right, there he is, computer programmer, station manager, student station manager extraordinaire, Logan Pizzuro, joining us from Avondale and uh, WAHS Radio.